Hello and welcome on The Watches TV. We're here in the old town of Geneva by the Mad Gallery to discover the new timepiece unveiled by MBNF and we know that it's going to be pretty exciting. So here marks kind of the first day of fall. Pretty cold, but we know it's going to be pretty hot inside. Let's check. Well, this is our latest machine, horological machine number nine, nicknamed HM9 Flow. It's inspired by the flowing designs of the 1940s and 50s. That period, the 40s and 50s, were an amazing period for design. Why? Because designers were still extremely creative. It was just before wind tunnels and computer software changed everything. Designers did aerodynamic designs, but in a very intuitive way. They did curves, they did flowing lines. And this inspired simply some of the most beautiful automobiles and airplanes we've ever crafted on this planet. Well, a few things we can say about HM9. Uh, it's a difficult piece to, to create, of course. Uh, first, the movement inside. These two uh, pods, uh, the lateral pods, contain a flying balance wheel each. So each of those lateral pods has an entire escapement, an entire regulating system on its own. They each work independently. And in the center here, the central part, you have a differential which is constantly averaging out those two, uh, those two escapement systems. The average, which is a more stable result, is what then drives the hours and the minutes above. That's one of the first difficulties. The second thing, of course, is just the shape of the movement itself. It's an entirely unconventional shape. That means we had to create everything from scratch. Another difficulty is the vertical display of the time, hours and minutes at a perpendicular angle versus everything else. We do that thanks to conical gears, very difficult to craft three-dimensional conical gears. And last but not least, the case. The case is uh, very three-dimensional, as you can see. It's crafted from solid blocks of titanium, grade five titanium and sapphire crystal. We have a patented 3D gasket, which makes it waterproof, the three atmospheres. Altogether, you combine a lot of difficulties. Two editions. One is the road edition as a tribute to the automobiles of the 40s and 50s with a speedometer inspired dial. And a second edition, aviator style, called the air edition. Each one is limited to 33 pieces. The price, I suppose you want to know as well, is in Swiss francs 168,000 plus tax.